Good afternoon. So welcome back to Lancashire Lads channel. I'm Dave, Lancashire Lad. And today, we're at Gawthor Pool. So we're going to have a little tour around the gardens. I think I'll just do that in like a B-roll so you can see my head actually, I'll stand back. Um, we're going to have a look around the uh, textile museum from Lady Shuttleworth's collection. And uh, we'll have a look at the uh, upstairs bedrooms and all around the interior. So, this is Gawthor Pool. It's in Paddyham. Lancashire. Uh, it's at least 400 years old, built around the 1500s, I think it was 15, 1548, something like that, 1596, so them type of dates. Uh, built in the Jacobean style for the Shuttleworth family, who, inherited, uh, well, who lived here for almost 400 years, like I say. Uh, it's owned by National Trust now, so you do have to pay to get in, unfortunately, which is, it's only six quid, uh, concessions of four, children go free. Free parking, which is usually noted of with National Trust. Anyway, get that out of the way. Um, so this place was built by one of the architects who built the Houses of Parliament, no less. Um, the name eludes me, but I will, I will put some information on screen about him. And yeah, it's still standing. So we're gonna have a little look around. It's very humid today as well, and I made the uh, made the mistake of putting this jumper on, thinking it was gonna be a bit chilly. So if I get a little bit red at face, you probably know why. Um, and also let me take this time to apologise for not uploading regularly over the last few weeks. Um, we'll go for a little mooch here. Yeah, I've had a few uh, few personal issues going on. Nothing major, so don't have to worry. Um, and luckily they're all sorted now. So, uploading wasn't... Uh, uploading a video, shooting a video wasn't at the uh, forefront of my uh, mind, should I say. Yeah, um... Bottle digging still on the back burner for the time being. Maybe a little bit of mudlarking, but it's so hard work just to get down to the rivers now and get onto the tips. I'll show you the river here. This is the uh, River Calder as it runs through back end of Burnley into Paddyham. You can see you can see how overgrown it is and how difficult it is. We've had a lot of rain these last few weeks as well, and I believe it's due again to rain today. But we'll, uh, we'll have to see about that one. I'm afraid. Trying to, yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's due again to rain today. So we'll see what happens with that, but luckily we're doing an indoor video, so it shouldn't affect us that much. Anyway, let's stop chabbering. Let's get in there, let's have a look about. I'll see you in a minute. Right, so unfortunately, um, I'm not supposed to film here. I didn't know. There's no way. I can take photos, but I can't film. I think it's because there's so many other people in here. Um, right, so the house was built in 1400s as a stone built cottage, or as it would have looked. Um, and it was refitted by the architect from the House of Parliament in the 1500s. It wasn't built by him. So, yeah, um, the family were mainly Church of England. There were some Puritans. I'll try and get a little bit of footage, but I don't know how this is going to roll. No way around. I'm going to go into this other room. I'll see you in a minute. It's because it gives the house that feeling of lived in. It's a lived in feel. You, yeah. you, you look at this room and you think, yeah, people lived here. And you can see, this is the, the one of the guy groups. This
so just heading into uh, where the tank poster is in there. Still fell on cat. There's a bit of a tarp right desk here. I've got some plate glass if I can put a bit of beef all over it anyway. But there's a, there's a family over there making lots of money, so I'm just going to uh, hang back a bit. Don't run around. Uh, I'm not sure why you can't film in here. I think it might be a privacy thing, but you can take photographs. I don't, I don't get it. Right, so I wanted to jump in here and actually give you some proper information. Um, the hull was owned by the Shuttleworths and built in the early 1600s. Now, some believe it was built around a Pele Tower, a strong fortified tower, and the additional house was built around it later on in the early 1600s, like I say. Remodelled in the early 19th century by Sir Charles Barry, uh, architect of the House of Parliament, and some say it was originally built by Robert Smithson, um, if not built by him. Definitely in his design and styles. Um, now, the Shuttleworths have been in the area from the 1200s, um, residing at Shuttleworth Hall near Hapton. And the uh, house was given over to the Lancashire County Council in the 1970s by the last Lord, for, uh, sorry, the fourth Lord Shuttleworth on a 99 year lease. In 2015, the house, uh, the council provided £500,000 funding for restoration on the south side and west sides of the house. And I'll uh, let you jump back into the video now. The book cuts are £4.50. Um, it's your typical National Trust uh, affair, basically everything. Everything is paid for, everything, everything is sold. Uh, but the parking's free, which I'm quite surprised at. I think it's because it's a shared car park with the Burnley training ground because they train down here, Burnley Football Club. In fact, they're, just, they're literally just over that hedge there. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll finish off doing a little bit of around the gardens and then I'll post this up. And like I say, 
hopefully we're going to get back to some regular video uploads now that the uh, now that my issues are out of the way nothing major don't have to worry about it it's uh, just some stuff always comes along around this time of year and always knackers up my plans but it is what it is and I've uploaded this one so hopefully you can forgive the uh, last two weeks missed So this would have been like a servant's run from the back door all the way to the stables and the barns. So this would have been like the courtyard. Let's put you on from camp. Yeah, so quite an old place. Almost 400 years, 500 years old. And the Shuttleworths lived there right up until the 60s. Um, apparently, the, the last owner of Gothel Pub, I can't remember her name, Jessica, Jessica Shuttleworth, she actually used to do the school tours and organise the tours for the children in the area. So she was actually very active in her own home. I don't know if she still lived there or if it were more of a museum back then. Um, but yeah, quite out I suppose. stable blocks and the barns and it's all this lovely cobbled cobbled floors these would have been the stables great barns I think you can hire these out now picnic areas So they have like a bit of an honesty box, you can buy little little plants and there's a rosemary shrub there. That's actually quite nice. Is it rosemary? Lavender. Lavender bush. A few radishes and bean sprouts. Yeah, so that's going for Paul guys. Um, like I said, we're going to be getting back to some regular uploads Hi. afternoon. Um, so I'll stick around for those. And I'm going to sign off, get back to the car, go and get a drink of water. I'll uh, see you on the next one.